What's going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the office. In today's video, I'm doing a little 2021 what's in the bag, but a little bit differently because I'm focusing on training. Every what's in the bag video seems to like briefly mention the training aids that, uh, that we use and figured why not do a video dedicated to the training aids because they're arguably more important than the clubs you're using because your clubs can only do so much if, you, if your swing and your, and your action and your game's not strong. So these train aids, six or seven train aids that I'm gonna talk about are in my bag at any given time. And right now they're the ones that I'm using the most either in the garage or out on the golf course in the driving range. So why not shine a little light on these little gems, these magical tools that I lean on for my practice and my game. Resistance bands, pretty simple. I did a whole video about it with Dan when we, when we worked on driver. I like to use a resistance band, like a circular one, around my knees, and then the kind of long, extended, non-circular resistance band, that's great for tension in the backswing and all those good things. There's so many great drills you can do with resistance bands, and I mean, they're, they're four or five bucks at Walmart, so pretty simple, straightforward, almost like a DIY training aid. Alignment sticks, come on more straightforward, simple stuff, but there's so much you can do with alignment sticks. You can use them on your feet, obviously. You can stick them up to start working on your start line or your plane going back. I like to use them kind of extended from the butt of the club just to work on little short shots to make sure I'm not flipping the club. This little drill keeps me from flipping the golf club and just feeling a really solid shaft lean through impact. And then kind of the pro level up is a drill that again, I've talked about in a video with Dan where we like to start with it on the right side of my hip which gets pretty, pretty upright on the way back, but then you have to shallow the club and kind of clear the body to hit these little half shots uh, with the stick where it is, because if you do it wrong, you're gonna hit it poorly or you're gonna hurt yourself. Live view camera. I've been using a live view camera since 2019 and this thing is magical. It's a digital mirror, so you set it up behind you or face on, and it's going to project to your iPad or your phone what you're doing in real time. You can draw lines on it, you can work on your position. I love to make just the slow rehearsals while I'm looking down at the iPad, seeing exactly what I'm doing, and then just, just fire away. And there's ways that you can mirror your phone to it if you're using the iPad, so you can get two camera angles at the same time. The thing is just magical and it really helps connect the dots between feel and real. Because it's one thing to go stand up in front of a mirror, make some rehearsals, and then go to the golf ball and hit it. You don't really know if you're exactly doing that, but if you can make those rehearsals right over the golf ball, get that instant feedback, and then just fire away, it just makes practice so efficient, especially if you're short on time or you're, you're indoors for the winter. This thing is, is magical. Yeah, the super speed sticks. I just started using these and, woo, you know, I want to get that 180 ball speed this year. And these sticks have three weights, lightweight, a little lighter weight, and then overweight. And woo, it is a workout cranking these out. So I like to do this like after a workout or if I'm hitting a few balls, doing a little bit of stretching here in the garage. I can crank these super speed sessions and I'm really expecting this to help me gain some speed this year and hit the golf ball further because I'm getting older and the game's getting longer so I need to keep up with that and then get longer along with the game. The putt out mirror, I mean any putty mirror is fantastic. I have the whole putt out set but this is the thing that I'm leaning on the most. It sits on the putting green in the garage every day and I'll roll some putts just making sure my lines, my eye line are, are on, on, on point and it's just one of those check marks, that feedback that is so beneficial and I find it's easy to forget about it, but you just have a mirror in your bag, you roll five, 10 putts in the mirror, you get your lines all set, you get your weight, your eyes, it's just a great piece of feedback that's instant and you know, it's just, it's invaluable and it's something that so many people don't have, so I highly recommend getting any type of mirror for your putting practice. The Gabe Golf Swing Trainer. I've been using this thing since like 2017 now. Gabe played on the PGA Tour, saw what he was doing, bought one of these, and it's just incredible. It's great for sequencing, it's great for loading into the right side, even really good for speed too, because you can, you can load up there and just fire it away. And there's kind of like two speeds to work on. You can do the long weight, where you let 
the ball bearings get all the way down to the grip, then fire, or kind of the, the mid weight, which is very close to a real golf swing, which I like to do before like warming up for a tournament or in a round of golf, is the minute you start to hear the, the ball bearings drop, you fire away. And again, instant feedback if your sequencing or your rhythm is off, you're gonna, you're gonna thin it, chunk it. This thing is an awesome, awesome training aid to work speed, power, sequencing, loading, all those good things. The Down Underboard. This is the newest uh, addition to my repertoire. Bradley Hughes, former PJ Tour player, coach now. And this board kind of gained so much traction because of Brennan Todd. Kind of came from out of nowhere, struggling so much with his game and started using this board that Bradley was, was kind of workshopping. And it, it, look at what, look what's happened to Brennan Todd. He's just, just a stud now. And uh, they're actually based here in Jacksonville Beach. So they, they, they hooked up with me and gave me one to use and his. It is really, really cool. I think it's so next level that you actually don't even feel what it's doing while you're using it. It's just helping you kind of use the ground, use some muscles that you don't typically use or you haven't used in your golf swing in quite some time or ever, using the groin, using the inside of the legs. And there's a lot of stuff you can you can use this for if you go onto uh, their website. But for me, I'm just loving it, getting me a nice stable base and just helping me kind of stay down through the ball, avoiding that little early rise that I sometimes get. It's helping me load into the right side in the backswing. It's just an awesome thing and it's good for putting. It's just. It's just great. It's it's expandable. It's uh, it doesn't fit in the golf bag the best, but if you unscrew it and flip it around, it'll fit in there if you have a, a decent sized pocket. But this down under board, it's the newest one to the repertoire, and I think I'm going to be using it a lot this year. Even just like Brennan Todd uses it for like 10, 20 reps a day, before a round, after a round, just on a practice day, and it's it's working for him. It's working for a lot of tour players out there. So the down under board, it's a really good one. There you go. Simple. What's in the bag? All those. Uh, those aids are linked below. Uh, feel free to hit me up on the DM or message me if you want to know more about how I'm using them. There's some, some promo codes with some of those below and some I just bought myself and the links from Amazon. So uh, I hope you can learn from this, can gain from this, and let me know down below what training aids are you using or want to use in 2021. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.